Uh, hi guys, what's up? I hope you're doing well. And today uh, I really wanted to talk about uh, the challenges with DeFi and why it could be a big, big no for a lot of regulators. As we all know, like DeFi, uh, uh, you know, like stands for decentralized finance. And this is a mechanism where, uh, you know, like you don't need to have any identity or KYC to get an account. All you need is just the, uh, uh, the you know like the blockchain wallet so if you're using a DeFi uh, on Ethereum you just need an Ethereum wallet such as MetaMask or if you're using DeFi on the Tron blockchain you need the TreeRx wallet or the Tron wallet and the good part about this DeFi is that you, it's just basically like a universal financial ecosystem or infrastructure for people who don't have access or who are like deprived of, of you know like the traditional banking or the financial institution infrastructure but but you know one of the biggest challenges with this space which could be a big no-no for the regulators is that it's like more it's like truly global and enormous meaning so in a way it is like really really good and I really support that but from regulators perspective uh, there are very very high chances since it's truly global and enormous like people sitting in India or just with having some kind of crypto which is possibly could invest in projects in the US, Russia or anywhere around the world and, 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 and the regulators or the person would not even know it and you're actually making some kind of some XYZ return which is like actually enormous and hidden from all of these accounts and since you don't have any KYC map to which is there are very high chances that, that you know people could just use this to actually you know move uh, uh, money around uh, without uh, without uh, uh, you know like regulators so I think that you know uh, uh, the DeFi any lot of DeFi projects which is actually coming out they're like purely decentralized which is like actually good but, but in a lot of sense they're not compliant so there are high chances that the government can you know come back at them uh, uh, you know uh, come back with some big lawsuits and, and also some big massive re re uh, regulation in this space which I feel is really really required for this industry to scale up because DeFi uh, is itself is a very exciting thing because you get to make returns without any middlemen so traditionally you you would just go to a bank to deposit money and bank would just give you some interest because they lend this they out that money on behalf of you but DeFi is more like a peer-to-peer -peer. so you you could just lend your money to anyone who offers a better interest rate and this DeFi protocol of the or, or, or this this the blockchain would lock in the security of the funds would facilitate the contracts using the smart contracts it's like completely automated end-to-end -end and more peer-to-peer -peer. but which is like really good and really cool because because you know in, in in other world scenario or if you look at from other sides like why would you why why should you pay taxes why because government not giving you like you know uh, uh you know like basic education healthcare etc etc they're just spending the money uh, uh on the security and you know nukes and etc which we, which we actually don't need as a world right so a lot of thoughts may vary and this is more like something which is giving more financial freedom to the people but on the other side this could be used by people for you know illicit and illegal purposes and i think that's more the worry is right so you would obviously don't want to have the bad actors to actually you know get rich and use this technology and this system for something really really societal bad so uh, i think uh, you know we really need some uh, projects which would you know actually manage this in a much decentralized way so you could possibly we could like combine self-sovereign identities or, or these identities with the stiffy so you could just get kyc verified like without actually sharing your data and, and would just start using the platform in a much much more uh, compliant way so i think this is one of the biggest challenges the DeFi space that you know compliance structures and then you know a more of a peer-to-peer -peer model which is like operating in a loophole but I think this is a very very good innovation and the industry is gonna grow and still we're at a very early ages of DeFi and like as always I see a future of, of banks like really really without banks because everything's gonna be more peer-to-peer -peer, so the banking uh, uh, activity or the banking stuff would like become much 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 limited and, and I think a lot of banks are, are trying to look at the space very very closely and, and everything's gonna be determined by the computers by the people's trust on the network i think more open source kind of a trust so DeFi is something like a more of finance for an open like kind of an open source finance where any developer could really create some good uh, uh financial instruments and the projects which is really transparent and 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 you know which would enable anyone to actually invest 
you know, without any barriers. So I'm really excited for the space and this is like a big boom currently. And I think uh, this could be also possibly one of the biggest bubbles, but, but from the long term perspective, I'm super bullish on the DeFi and I'm also super bullish uh, on the Ethereum specifically because most of the DeFi products gonna build an Ethereum blockchain and Ethereum blockchain is like getting ready for, for a massive uh, uh, scalability with moving towards with proof of stake and, and other uh, EIP, other EIP implementation like Ethereum improvement protocol implementation. So which is like really, really cool. So guys, like you, you could just possibly do your own research about DeFi and just let me know what do you think. And I think this has really a, has a very bright future. And I think this is this, this is where everything's gonna go like like everything money and everything would be like your blockchain enable if you read a lot of statistics report from world economic forums like over trillions and trillions of dollars of wealth is gonna be stowed on blockchain on the blockchain related technologies and like by 2030 2025 and then you know blockchain could potentially it's gonna impact like over three to five or whatnot some trillions of dollars of wealth in next coming five years so this is like a massive and if you don't know about this being a business professional developer like you're going to be just left out from a big big uh, opportunity which is coming across so guys uh, so you know keep learning about the blockchain space just let me know what are your thoughts and what are insights and, and and i would be really glad to share some of my uh, you know opinions and also learn from you guys and connect with you so thank you so much. Bye-bye. Cheers and have a good day.